How many times have you apologized for being quiet or said, I'm sorry, I'm so quiet, I'm not that talkative, I'm not loud enough, or just something not enough as it relates to you being quiet? Well, let me just tell you, being quiet is not a negative, it's your superpower. Silence. There's nothing you have to apologize for. Being quiet is not something that you need to apologize for. And I'm going to tell you what. Let me just tell you, I used to apologize for being quiet all the time. I'm sorry I'm not talking enough in this conversation. I'm sorry I'm not adding my input enough in this conversation. And I just felt I was doing something wrong by being so quiet. I'm not talking enough. I'm not loud <laughs> i'm not as outgoing as other people are i felt that other people wanted me to be but in all actuality i was putting that rule that negativity on myself and it was just my insecurity about not being as talkative i was putting this standard on myself nobody else was i was looking at it as me being quiet as a negative, as not a good skill to have. In all actuality, I didn't have to apologize to nobody. I needed to embrace being quiet. That was just my personality trait. And I needed to embrace it as a superpower. I had to stop feeling guilty for being quiet. That's nothing to feel guilty about. I realized I was just putting this pressure on myself. And once I started to embrace being quiet and just saying, exactly, it's quiet. This is me. This is who I am. I promise you, everything started to change in how I viewed and interpreted being quiet. And I started to interpret it as a skill and a superpower. And honestly, a lot of skill that people lack. Here's the thing. I want you to know that being quiet, being shy, doesn't make you weak. <laughs> it doesn't make you less than. It doesn't make you any negative thoughts that you're equating to being quiet. They are not true. It means that you're observant. It means that you're a great listener. It means that you are thoughtful. And it means that even if you're in a meeting <laughs> and you're not adding your input, it's because you like to listen. And you can always add your input later in an email or talking at the next meeting. Some of the most powerful people are introverted. I'm going to repeat that. And I'll probably put some people up here for reference. Some of the most powerful people are introverts. Think about it. When you listen more than you talk, you pick up on things that others miss because they're so busy talking and hearing their own thoughts that they're not reading the room, listening and taking in what people are saying. That is your advantage. When I say I literally had to break down the advantages of being quiet, being an introvert and just reclaiming and renaming in my head, I always thought you have to be talkative. You have to be outgoing to be successful. But in all honesty, you define your definition of success. For example, people's like, since you really don't talk a lot. And I'll say, I know I don't talk a lot. Thank you for telling me that. But I like to listen and then give my opinion from an educated, thoughtful space. Because some people like to project onto you what they're feeling about themselves. When people tell me, oh, you're so quiet, I don't even take it as a compliment. I honestly take it as an insult. Because I'm not going around saying, oh, you too loud. Shut the up. Being quiet is your superpower and embrace it. And don't let anybody tell you that it is not. And that you need to change this thing about yourself. If you're quiet, make your introvertedness and your quietness work for you in whatever you want to do and wherever your passion lies. Believe me, you can still do it while being quiet, sitting back and observing the room. In this time and age, everybody is talk, talking, talking. So the world needs more people like you that are quiet, who listen, who give a response with thoughtful intention, a person that listens, reflects, and acts with purpose. You're listening, you're reflecting, you're gathering your thoughts, and then you are responding. That is a skill that a lot of people lack. 
especially in a world where everybody wants to have an opinion about something and just throw it out there. Introverts like you and me bring a unique perspective to an already loud world. And I don't want you to forget that. Stop saying sorry. When you say, sorry, I'm just so quiet, I apologize, you are diminishing your value, your confidence, the person that God has created you to be. He made you perfectly imperfect. You're not letting that shine by apologizing for being quiet and simply put just who you are. Say this instead. Replace sorry with thank you. Thank you for being so patient while I gather my thoughts before I respond. And if they say, why are you so quiet? Say, I'm listening, I'm reflecting, I'm, I'm observing a situation so that I can give an educated response. And that is how I like to respond to things. And thank you for your patience while I am doing that. You know, clear room. <laughs> Number two, just own your quietness with confidence. Once again, people will make it seem like a negative thing, but do not allow them to do that. Number three, just remember that silence isn't awkward. It's only awkward if you make it awkward if other people make it awkward. Use your quietness to your advantage. Even when I'm having conversation and there is silence, I always like to reiterate that silence isn't awkward. Silence is oh. Um, in a world that people think you have to just keep on talking and keep on talking and keep on talking and talking, it will be weird for them. But like me and you, we love to be quiet and we love quietness. So it wouldn't be awkward for us. Quiet isn't a problem, it's a power. Once again, quiet isn't a problem, it's your power. Stop apologizing and start owning it. And I'm so excited for you to be on this journey. So once again, stop apologizing it. Stop apologizing. <laughs> stop apologizing for being quiet and own it. My drop on this hoe. Now, if this resonated with you, please share in the comments below a time where you felt like you had to apologize for being quiet. I wanna start normalizing quietness and so that you know you are not alone when you are experiencing this feeling. And if you want more tips on how to thrive as an introvert, don't forget to hit the subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!